Hey, what's up, Animaniacs? My name is Animan, and welcome to Would You Rather. This is episode 99. We are one away from the big triple digits, the episode 100. And uh, this is a series where I answer Would You Rather questions you guys left for me in the previous episode, as well as interesting Would You Rather questions that I found all throughout the web. So, if you have any Would You Rather questions, I would appreciate if you leave them all down in the comment section below, and I will get to them next week. But, but, since uh, we are having the big episode 100 next week, uh, I would appreciate if you guys left lots, lots of would you rather questions. I, I'm not 100% sure what we're doing, whether it be, you know, I sit there and answer a shit ton of would you rather questions for an hour, or maybe I'll grab a couple of friends and we'll sit there and shoot the shit on your, uh, on your would you rather questions for an hour or two. I don't know, I haven't decided. I think that would be interesting if I grabbed maybe three other people and the four of us just gather around. I don't know, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, what I need from you guys is to leave, you know, as many would you rather questions as you possibly can down in the comment section. I don't care if you leave one, that's great, that's awesome, I appreciate it. But if you can leave five, maybe ten would you rather questions, that'll be awesome. Even if they've been asked before, I will answer them again. I'll give you an updated opinion on that would you rather question. Maybe I no longer wish to eat poop, maybe I would love to eat or drink pee. Actually, I think uh, I would rather drink pee anyways. I think that's what I said, but I'm getting off topic. I'm getting off topic. <laughs> so, uh, with all that out of the way, make sure you guys leave your would you rather questions down in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode. And uh, let's jump into this week's would you rather questions. Starting us off this week, we have Michelle G who asked, Would you rather have $10 million illegally or $5 million legally? Uh, I guess it kind of depends on how I got that $10 million illegally. Like, is it something where it's going to be traceable? Uh, is it going to be traced back to me? Am I going to get in shit for it? <laughs> uh, but I, I, that's probably the case if it's illegally. It, it, it might come back to haunt me. Sure, I'll have twice as much money as it would if I did it legally. But I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just one of those people who, can't, who couldn't live their life being... I guess, in fear of being pursued for something illegal. Like, that's why, uh, I wouldn't say that's why, or the only reason why I don't do illegal things is because, <laughs> because I'm scared, but, uh, I, I, I just couldn't, I, I couldn't be happy. I couldn't be happy with myself knowing that I stole this money, I scammed people out of money, whatever it is. And, uh, even with $10 million, I'd still be depressed at the end of the night. I, I'd still feel bad, I'd still feel guilty. Uh, but $5 million legally, you know, I, I'm not going to lie, $10,000 legally would make me happy right now. But uh, <laughs> $5 million, I'll take it. Fuck, you can cut that down to $1 million legally, I'll take it. Um, I, I, as, all, as awesome as $10 million would be, I think it'd still haunt me at the end of the day. And that's not a life that I want to live, where I have, you know, hundreds of things haunting me. I don't need something else. Uh, like, you know, like I said, not only did I scam people or whatever, steal money and, and affected other people. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll probably have the cops after me and all that stuff, and I don't think that's the life I really want to live. So, I will take the five million dollars legally. Um, I guess maybe I'll go gambling, and that's how I got to five million dollars. I'm not, I'm a horrible gambler, maybe I shouldn't do that. I probably end up, uh, yeah, I probably not end up getting it five million dollars that way. <laughs> how the hell would I get five million dollars legally? Uh, let's see, I'll open up a business and uh, I'll sell barbecue sauce. How about that? I've never made barbecue sauce in my life, so it's gonna it's gonna be horrible. But anyways, thank you for your question, Michelle G. I think I'd much rather take the five billion dollars legally rather than the ten million illegally. I couldn't live with myself. And let's move on to the next one. Michelle G has one more question for us, and she asks, "Would you rather be able to fly or be able to turn invisible?" So I'm trying to think of like the pros and cons of this, like you know, like being invisible. Okay, so that gets you out of sticky situations. You know, maybe maybe that ten million dollars I got illegally, um, <laughs> I would be able to just you know, any any time the cops are onto me, boom, gone, invisible. You won't be able to see me, and you'll be like, "Oh no, where'd he go? I don't know where he went." And, uh, you know, I'll just be able to slip away quite easily. And, of course, you know, there's other things you could use, you know, if you wanted to. I don't, I don't, not saying I would, but you can use it for perverted reasons. You know, you could tiptoe your way into a, a woman's locker room or something like that. If that's what you're into, I'm not. I would never do that. But I'm just saying, you know, and being invisible does have its perks, but its downside, uh, I just don't see it being that useful for my life. Because I know I don't commit crimes. I don't. Uh, I don't have that uh, per uh, perverted intentions or anything like that. 
Um, I, I, and even, like if I had that invisible ability, I would never go do any of that anyways. So, um, I mean, guess really all you can do is get you out of situations that you don't want to be involved in, such as maybe you have to make a school presentation and you can just go invisible. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Or, you know, maybe there's a school bully or something. Boom, you just go invisible and you can enjoy the rest of your day. I don't know. I don't know. Like, uh, maybe, maybe back when I was in high school, I would have liked that. But right now, I just don't see being invisible that useful to me. However, being able to fly, being able to fly. Um, so the thing is, like, nowadays, it, it, like... I've always, I've, I've always been turned off of uh, the ability to fly just because, you know, if I wanted to fly, I just, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars and I can pay to fly, more or less. You know, I just hop on a plane and I'm able to fly somewhere. But uh, the more I think about it, it's like, just imagine how convenient it would be. Because, like, you know, I can only fly if I want to make long distance tra uh, traveling, right? But being able to fly at will, number one, is cheaper, obviously. I mean, I get to hold on to that three hundred, four hundred dollars. But I can do short distances, you know, uh, just imagine like, you know, let's say you're going to work, you have, uh, you know, you're stuck in traffic on the highway or something like that. Well, I'm not. I'm flying. I'm flying right over your traffic. You know what I mean? So like, you know, a, a 20 minute drive for me to work will take five minutes to fly. Just fly over everything. Just a straight path to work. I don't have to worry about anything. You know what's really going to suck though? In the winter. <laughs> Being able to fly in the winter. That's going to be a hell of fucking cold. I got to like double triple up on my jackets if I'm gonna be flying but the real, real question is though how fast do I fly am I gonna fly as fast as an airplane because I, that, you know that, that's I don't know if you'll be able, actually I wouldn't be able to do super long distance flights then right because like a 13 hour flight like let's say I'm going to I don't know Japan South Korea or something I think that's a 13 14 15 hour flight or something like that and uh, especially when it's over the ocean, I don't think I'll be able to make a pit stop until I get across that ocean, right? <laughs> so, uh, but anyways, I think being able, uh, having, like, being able to fly is, at will, is very convenient. It'll save money, uh, not only on your flight, but gas money, you know, or bus money, uh, time, because in, in case you have to walk. Um, so, I think I'd much rather take being able to fly over being invisible. Like I said, and being invisible not that useful to me like it's maybe in high school it would have been useful but now eh, it would be nice i'm not saying it's a bad thing but i think being flying like being able to fly right now would be more useful to me than being invisible uh, but thank you for your question michelle g or your questions michelle g let's move on to the next one our last one i am going to take from either dot io and the question is would you rather play a game of one-on-one -on -one with michael jordan or play a game of one-on-one -on -one with kobe bryant uh, is this a basketball question? Okay, number one, I don't know much about basketball. I know these two people. I know that. I know that much. And I know it's basketball. That's about the extent of my knowledge of basketball. I know these two players and the fact that it's basketball. <laughs> and that there's a net. I think there's a net, right? Yeah. Anyways, um, but I know um, Michael Jordan more than I know Kobe Bryant just because of the fact that I kind of, like, more or less grew up with Michael Jordan. Like, you know, when growing up, you, I heard all the stories of Michael Jordan. Uh, he was on, what, the Bulls? Chicago Bulls, I think? Oh my god, I know a team? What? <laughs> it's on the Chicago Bulls. And, uh, you know, he did that movie Space Jam, which I loved as a kid. And, uh, and you know, so I kind of knew Michael Jordan more than I know Kobe Bryant today. I, like, I know Kobe Bryant. I know of him. I know what he looks like. I know what he does. I know he's a phenomenal player. Um, I don't know what team he plays for, though. Uh, Lakers, maybe? That's a, I, that's a shot in the dark. That's a shot in the dark. If I got that right, oh, 50 points to earn a main. That's right. Uh, but yeah, but just because of like the lack of knowledge of, of Kobe Bryant and, you know, not really growing up with him, more or less, uh, I think I would much rather play a game of one-on-one -on -one with Michael Jordan. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button for me. It just shows support. For, uh, just all that blah, 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 blah. It just shows your support for the series, for the channel. Just let them know you guys are enjoying it. Uh, next week, we have the episode 100 spectacular. I'm trying to plan something out, like I said earlier. And hopefully, things come through. If things uh, fall through, then it'll probably just be me answering a shit ton of would rather questions for you guys. But uh, keep your fingers crossed that things do work out. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like button, subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always... Stay dirty, yeah.